This are my RC monster trucks collected over the years. And this is the 124 scale ready to run monster truck from FMS Hobby. If you want to get one of these, check out the link in the description to get one from the official store. It comes in a tin but sturdy external box with an FMS label on it. Oops. So you'll be greeted by this very nice Tamiya inspired box art on the front. It's ready to run and the main highlights are printed here. It was full of joy and excitement pulling this out from the box. You'll find the manual and the water slide decals at the bottom of the box. Servo already come as a metal version from the factory. It's a metal open differential that you can lock it manually, but the instruction did not mention how. 68mm monster track tires that looks very scale. Comes with a 3 one electronic that has a receiver and ESC and light control in one. Two shift gearbox that you can shift on the fly. One 30 size motor. Standard 4 inch suspension. And a portal axle with a metal gears inside. A very nice box art on the side as well. This looks so good man And these are stuff that are included in the box 24 ball bearings I got a blue version Maybe I'll get a white body if it's available These are the ball bearings spec size In case you want to get some spare If you want to play this in the water or in the mud Here are the dimensions Especially the wheel base is 139mm Now the track wheel is mentioned here 122mm Option parts listed here This is the interesting one All terrain tires I think this is a different track pattern Aluminium link rod The original one comes out of plastic Dry shaft as well comes as plastic speed motor really available on the official site now oh metal barrel gear for the differential aluminium shock absorber you'll be spending more money on this car metal wheel and also wheels weight if you want to use this for rock calling Where's the car? I already took it out. <laughs> this is actually how it looked coming out of the box. They put those foam to prevent the wheel from hitting the fender during transportation because the suspension is kind of soft. Other than the car, you get the USB charger, a wrench, another wrench again. So it's the wheel wrench. Maybe this is the way they want you to do it since everyone has a screwdriver, right? You get C clips. This is to increase the tension on the spring. O ring for you to put inside your shocks so you can fill up oil into your shocks. Now they don't come pre filled with oil inside. I think these are the lock discs. Just strap this with the one inside. To open the gear case, it's not as straightforward as a WPL where you can just remove the four screws. You need to remove the bottle attachment as well to open the axle case. This is the design. This is the reason why. So the blue painted body, oh boy, it's so nice. You can see the premium feeling on it. This is like some sort of satin or matte blue finishing. It reflects the premium quality of the FMS model. Very nice finishing. The lines are very sharp and clear. Chrome roll bar, chrome bumper, chrome front grille as well. It's working headlight. It's very, very nice. Of course, with a premium price as well. For global market, 160 US dollar. Let's peel that off. There are clear lens on the robot like DIY LEDs inside. Tinted window, not clear, which would look better to conceal the empty interior inside because there's no interior. Tires are very, very soft and very, very grippy. Small diameter monster truck wheel, very, very scale looking. Single shock suspension on each wheel. And I think they're quite soft, which I think is normal for monster truck. So it bounces down because there's no, there, there are no oil inside. There's a very smart mechanism to detach the body, which are the clips here on four corners. You just press on it and then push it at the same time. Again, the same thing to the front as well. It's that easy and convenient. I wonder why they use such a thick wires for the headlight. The wire here, I don't think they're gonna last. Receiver and ESC in front. There's a switch here. This is a battery strapped down with a rubber band. This is a shift servo for the two-speed gearbox. One-piece molded chassis as they call it. Metal gear servo in front. Portal axle with metal gears. So this is basically a FCX24 collar chassis. Plastic axle K, plastic dry shaft, which look beefy. Secured by the screws here. There are many metal ball ends all around. Many, many of them. Not much to say about the car, but for monster truck, usually your choices will be a 110 scale, which is very expensive at a minimum of 400 US dollar. Then for a smaller 124 scale, you have to build one yourself as there's no good uh, 124 scale RC monster truck out there. And this is the first hobby grade 124 scale RC monster truck. And it's made by a well-known RC company that not only makes RC cars, but a lot of uh, radio control plane that has good quality. Front spring is noisy. The back one is pretty quiet. Why? Why is that? The radio requires four AA batteries. Throttle steering, there's a gear shift on the fly. To the left is low gear, to the right is high gear. 
The middle one is actually a free gear. There's an on-off button. Throttle and steering plus minus is actually the centering. Rather different than the other brand. And the very interesting thing is that now let's say I've out of the center, the supposed center zone. When it's back to the center zone, it will actually make a different beeping sound. So there, there, that means it's now at the back to the factory original center point. So let's say we deviate to towards positive and then we go back to center again. But staring, no staring, it doesn't tell you which is the center point. By default, every time you turn on the car, the light will go off. You can use the bind button to turn it on and off. The reverse button is actually to reverse both channel 1 and channel 2. So let's say if you press 1, there's, there, there won't be anything, it won't do anything. You let, you need to give it input, so channel 1 will be the steering. Now it's the correct direction. I'm going to steer either direction and press reverse. So now it becomes reverse. My steering is wrong. When I go right, go left. So how I reverse it back is just give it any direction input. Press again, now it becomes correct again. In terms of driving, I love the modulation, man. This is like the WPL. Now on uh, low gear. Look at this, this is so slow. It sounds good too. That is the sound of quality. Look at that! What? So it has a brake function as well. So it's small enough for you to play it on your table as well. So you could uh, bring this to your office and show off to your friend. It has a good amount of uh, staring angle. You can do a really tight turn around your table. Woo! And let's go into low gear to try to climb the wall. Let's smash some cars. Let's try again. That's very, very good throttle modulation. Wow, that was so nice. You see, you can do it so slowly. Super, super slowly. Wow. Haha! <laughs> Just made these ramps, should have made earlier, and this one was made way too big, too tall. Alright, the very first jump, car looks small over there. Let's go. Uh, that's like not fast enough. Let's try again. I was, I was on high gear. Well, I think the issue could be due to the design of the ramp because it is uh, enters the ramp, it caused it to uh, pitch up a little bit. You see? And then as it continues, it drops and then the rear hits the ramp and cause it to pitch down instead of keeping it pitch up and fly away. How about the other side? Okay, maybe my ramp sucks. We need a faster motor. How about this? This is a backflip ramp. Uh, this is not fast enough. Okay, consider done. So even you can't do tricks on the ramp, but due to the very sticky tires, you can actually do some tricks on the ground. Oh, uh, well, that's really special. <laughs> So you can roll over because the tire is very sticky and the car is pretty high with that bottle axle. It's quite fast actually but not fast enough to do a meaningful jump. Let's try the low speed gear. Imagine this is the ramp, which is really the ramp. Very, very Oh, one more time and be really careful. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a trick with that. Very nice. Fully. The tire has so much grip, even on high speed gear, you can do that. A fast reverse. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the top speed. Decent. I don't think it's gonna do well on that last ram, isn't it? Over the rocks. <laughs> Quite bouncy. Let's try to do jumps. <laughs> Struggle to even go up. 
This is cute. You go slow with uh, low gear. Quite realistic. I'm gonna whack some plant. The struggle. Let's get some scratches on the body. Uh, yep, here. Oops. Oh, <laughs> just a little bit. Let's try a low gear. It's so slow. Hey! Not enough grip. Uh, and then because it's open diff, so rear is still spinning. Front is it's stuck here, but this side is moving. For the back. Come on! Oh no! Dirty scratch. Makes it more real. Get one of these, check out the link in the description to get one from the official store. And FMS told me they are not supposed to be on AliExpress. So be careful with where you buy. Click the left thumbnail for latest video or smash the subscribe button on the middle of the screen. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!